Hi guys. <laughs> Who in there? Nobody? Come on now. Y'all gotta do better than that. I told y'all it's coming back soon, so where y'all at? Hmm? Where y'all at? Who would even think that I'm having a blue day, huh? Well today I'm gonna cook me some good old New York porgies. That's right. Had to go all the way up there to get them this size. You wanna see them? Let me turn this camera around. There they go. Uh, his and hers. But because my daughter's home, I don't have to eat alone. So, and for today, guess what? We're going to have some Tito. Some Tito. Vodka. You know I'm a vodka girl. And next month is my cumpleaños, meaning my birthday. So, guess who has a blue cup of Tito? And look, I hung my pineapples up here with um with some toothpicks because I didn't have the whole ones. So um this is Tito's, some ice, and some cranberry juice. Mm-hmm. Keep it healthy, y'all. So this is Monday Madness. And um I'm happy to be here another day on this planet. So much is going on in, in this world. New things. Good things, bad things, blue things. Um, I need to say thank you to my little sis. She got me this apron. I don't know where she at. I'm not tagging her, but Danielle, you know where you at? This is a shout out for you. NYC, baby girl. And um, I'm about to fry these porgies before they burn. So I'm going to take you all over here to the oil. Hopefully it ain't too hot because you know me. I keep running at the lips, so here we go. Let's test this oil first before I throw them in there because we don't want to go there. So I'm testing the oil. I'm going to throw a little bit of flour in here and see that she's about ready. So that's good. I threw some flour in. I'm going to show you again. Throw some flour in there. And I'm going to put my first porgy in that bad boy. Because I want to fry them. I don't want to bake them. I want to get that porgy taste. Ooh. Let me turn it down just a little bit. And no, it's not Friday. You ain't got to only eat fish on Friday, y'all. You can eat fish any day of the week that you want to. You know? You can eat fish any day. Hey, Zita, I love you, boo. Who else is in the house? Nancy, I love you and I miss you, baby. I do, I do. And the girls, tell everybody hello. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. You know, I'm not losing my mind, but I'm not going to lose my mind. How about that? I'm not going to lose my mind. They got the wrong one. So anyway, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about people. You know, let's talk about people. Even though we quarantined, y'all. See, now let me turn y'all around because I need to face my audience. Everybody know what fried fish look like. I'm going to watch it while I'm talking to y'all. So, let's talk about people. People say you can't change people. And that's the truth. Because I was in a relationship where, married, I was in a relationship where I figured that I could change what was going on. And when I say I was in love, every part of me, every part of me was in love. And I neglected other things just to try to change the situation. So, I wasn't able to do it. But I didn't find out until I went through it. I'm talking about counseling. They didn't want to go. But then when they agreed to go, they didn't hold up their bargain. And when you love somebody and they don't hold up their bargain, that hurts. So they say you can't change nobody. So you change around you. That means you get out the situation. Because if you can't get out the situation, don't wait for somebody to change. We never know, especially now, what's going to happen in our life from day to day. And I need to say this message because I didn't fall in that gap. One time I fell in there twice trying to be the helper 
So we need to find out who we gonna help and who we not gonna help. Who we gonna give that energy to? Cause I got a whole lot of energy, I really do. So I gotta give it up. You know, see I'm quarantined, I talk to my people. Hey, <laughs> this is amazing. You know, don't show me something cause I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it in the worst way, for real. I want y'all to kill it too. Know why? Because the thing is, this is not humane to have us locked down. It's not even humane to have animals locked down because they get out of hand too when they be locked up too tough. So I don't care who is in what position. They not locking me down. They not gonna lock me down. I'ma go down, throwing down. That's what it's gonna be. So in saying that, we got one life to live, y'all. And I see some of y'all be having your life. Y'all be doing whatever y'all doing. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Because we don't know what's going to happen from day to day. Every day there's a new thing going on. I'm paying attention. And when I post something, if I say to read it and it's long, y'all need to just look at it. Because if you haven't seen it, you need to be on point with what's going on. You know? It's like a mouse being caught in a trap, you know, trying to get away, trying to get to that next place. Went to get something to eat and got trapped. You know, people are feeling trapped. All the social, all the social things that we supposed to be having and getting and free, I always make one dollar too much to get it. We talking coupones, food stamps, whatever it is, Medicaid, whatever it is. And I worked all my life since I was 14. I could claim 21 years on one job, but I worked all my life since I was 14. So I should be entitled to something. I'm already a senior citizen, y'all. And know what they giving up? Free coffee. Fuck one free coffee. I can make my own coffee. Got a coffee maker here. Somebody need to check that. Let me show y'all this fish. I want to let y'all know I ain't burning it. I ain't burning her or him, but I'm going to eat him. Yeah, so back to the conversation. You know, I look around. Turn around. I look around and I see a lot of stuff on social media. You know, I'm not trying to be that person. Anybody that knows me knows that this is the Jackie that they meant. I don't change. I may get older, a little plumper but i don't change my brain and my my verbal doesn't change so anybody that knows me knows that i'm not putting on the show this is me so me is trying to reach out to people maybe i could reach somebody maybe i can help somebody because that's the degree that i took when i went to school is to help so maybe maybe i can help somebody just talking and somebody listening even somebody that was there with me you know, knows what I did. I did it from my heart. So I'm giving this message so that if I can reach one person, I'm good. Just one person. I want to be like a roach. I want to be like reach one, you know, and then have a million. I have that one reach one and then grow like that. But at the end of the day, I'm going to keep doing this until I can. And, you know, today I, I try to be a mermaid. You know, I want to do my little mermaid thing because, you know, I just love just like doing different stuff. Like there's not one thing to me. Like there's so many things. I had, I had a man ask me, how can I be so interested in so many things? But how do I expect him to understand me? Because he doesn't know me. I am so many things. I was gifted with so many things. And everything that I tackle is 100% me. So just watch me. And you'll see. Everything I put 100% into it. When I'm dealing with it, it's 100%. My videos is 100%. I don't present myself 100, less than 100% or more when I'm coming to somebody. And anybody that really knows me, and I love to say that because... There's some of my good friends on here looking at me. And those of you that are sick, let me tell you this. The wind don't blow the same way all the time. You're going to be okay. And you know who I'm talking about. Those of you that had to go to the hospital 
and had to get certain things done, you know I love you with all my skin. And I've already proven that. Those of you that were my friend, you know that if you was my friend, you got in. I got a tattoo. I got a tattoo that, that's on my, on my sleeve. Let me see if I can show it. It's right here. It's a heart. It's made out of maize. And it has in and no way out. That's my friendship. If you're my friend, you're my friend to the end. But I know who are my true friends because they come looking for me. And the ones that are not, they ain't even supposed to be around me. And I ain't got a problem with that. Be gone. Poof. Be gone. Be gone. Because you know what? When we in that boat, like I said, that boat that we supposed to be in, watch out. Because you don't know who got the hammer and the Phillips head screwdriver that's sitting in the back or right next to you. So everybody can go with you in that boat when we going in that boat. Or everybody can not climb that mountain when we climbing the mountain. Everybody can go. Because some people ain't going to have on climbing shoes. I come prepared. And anybody that I could take with me, no, I'm taking it. I'm taking y'all with me. Whether mentally, verbally, or by video, I'm going to take you with me. So, let's get back to this fish. Meow. Fishy fish. I'm glad I don't have a cat because I probably had to kill him. Fish cooking pretty good, y'all. Oh, guess what? I need to tell y'all I cheated. Because I went and bought a salad. This is how I want to eat today. I want to have some fish. And my daughter said, cool. So we're going to have a salad. We bought this from Wally Mart. It's a seasoned chicken salad. I'm not eating the chicken, but I'm eating the greens, y'all. I'm eating that. So we're going to have a healthy dinner tonight. Back to y'all. Okay. I'm bringing you back. Here I am. Who's in the house? I ain't got my glasses on. Zeta, 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 Nancy. Nancy, Nancy, who this? Hey, Jay. Jackie, what's up? I love you, girl. Happy belated birthday. I saw you enjoying yourself, girl. I'm coming up next. I'm scrolling down and reading, y'all. Who's this? Bring them on. <laughs> That's what's up. Oh, man. This life is something else, y'all. I would never think in, in, in the term of my life that I would have to live in the way that I'm living. I could not have ever phantom what's going on now. I need to knock on wood that COVID didn't step by me. And if I had it, I wouldn't have known it because I'm here today. So I don't know what process or what's going on or how deep it is, you know. They, every day the story is changing. So I, don't, I wouldn't know. But I make sure that I stay safe, so they say. You know, I wear the mask and I clean my hand because I got grandkids that I don't want to, if I am somebody that carries it and not aware of it because we don't know 100% of what's going on, I wouldn't want them to get it. But if I thought that they got it, it's something about your immune system. Your immune system is a bad mother. Shut your mouth. If you hold it down, and I'm going to say this on every video until I get tired, that vitamin D, I'm not a physician. Let me state that. Vitamin D3, zinc, don't ever take it on an empty stomach, and vitamin C. Those are the three that I got from a doctor on a live, and I said, let me follow this. You know, let me see what's good. And I take it, and um, I'm okay, like really. I'm okay. I don't hide in my house. I go out. I go shopping. You know, I don't hide. I live how I'm supposed to live. I live how I'm supposed to live. Hi. Shit. Not me. I'm almost ready with my... That's gonna be another video, y'all. Y'all gonna think I done lost my mind, but no. Mm. Those who know me will know I didn't lose my mind. I'm just preparing myself. Got to stay prepared. I say that more times than ever. I don't know what it is, but it's something about people leaving you in your life. Let's say this. 
the people that are your stronghold person sorry for the light i don't know which one of these lights are on you guys but there's something about a strong person when they pass away they leave you with some of their goodies so that you can be protected and those that it happened to know what i'm talking about this is not no hoogie boogie no witchcraft nothing like that but if you was in touch with that person like close they always leave you with something to protect you or help you because you think that you're going to be alone but you don't have that cavity of that person but you have that internal spiritual that spiritual strength that you need when you fall down and you can't get up they right there picking you up so i lost two people in my in my immediate family my brother 26 years ago i still feel it and my father a year ago and i lost my mother-in-law who loved me the same year as my father so i didn't get a chance i didn't get a chance to to grieve the way i should have but being strong you have to grieve quick and keep it moving because if you don't those loved ones have a way of sucking some energy out of you if you don't pay attention to that so instead of that there'll be days that i cry i ain't gonna lie and there'll be days when i feel the strongest like i'm a superwoman because i know that they right by my side and when i lay down and close my eye and i thank the creator for the day that i went through i also i also thank my ancestors that was here and they look over me because it's, it's not just one person looking over me you know 9-11 could have wiped me out <laughs> just being one of the responders there and i'm still here you know so i'm supposed to be here i'm supposed to be here y'all i'm supposed to be here so i know i was missing for a minute so i'm trying to make it up with y'all and yeah fried fish is a cheap way out but guess what i'm eating I'm cooking. Who's looking? You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to still make this food anyway. Anyway. I'm going to put my other piece of fish in because I think that this one is good to go. It's just so big. Like I need more help to get this bad boy out. For all you people in New York, I hope they taking care of y'all up there. You know what I'm saying? I hope the state is taking care of y'all. Because down here, they ain't taking care of me. I know that. They're not taking care of me how I thought that they would. But you know what? I'm a go-getter. I'm a hustler. They don't have to come bring me nothing. Not a penny. I know I do so many things that I know how to get money. I get my money. That's right. I know how to do so many things. I know how to make it. You know, I, I be like Puff Daddy. You put me in the woods, I come out with a fur coat and fat if you get my drift. No, I'm shame. Let's turn around for y'all can see my other. I don't know if this is the boy or the girl. Let's make it the boy. Because the girl is humongous. Getting this fishing on. Okay. Let's go over here. In a different light setting. Get my drink on. Mm-hmm. Zita, you laughing. You must feel okay. Look at you. How you doing, boy? I'm going to call you when I get off this live. Yes, indeed. I love her. She got some good music. And I'm going to figure it out. Because I need my music. I really do. Music is for the soul. You know, music can make you happy. Music can make you sad. But for me, music is like, it, it enlightens me. Like, I love music. And know what? It's no regular genre. Like, I could listen to all kind of music. I could listen to just instrumentals like, I don't limit myself when it comes to music. You know, all my all my senses are working. So 
I just love music. I really do. I really love my music. I really love my music. I miss my friends. I really do. I miss y'all. I miss the drinking, going to the bar. I miss the paperwork. I miss going home and have to do homework. I miss all of that. But everything has a time and a place. And memory is everything. You know what I'm saying? If you remember that, it's a good thing. I don't know if I'm having a 60th birthday party. Goddamn right, I'll be 60 my next birthday. 6-0. And you know what's messed up? Is that I thought I was 60 last year. That's some fucked up shit because I did the math wrong. You know, sometimes we do that shit and after 50, you gonna fuck up anyway. So I did some got them um adding and i said yeah i'm gonna be 60 i bought the 60 balloon six zero was gonna blow it up and then i something said you really 60 sure don't feel like fucking 60 so i said okay guess what let's see 219 61 uh, minus this i said shit i'm 62 times in a row so shit that's the best thing to be is 60 Two times in a row, so yes. 60, 60, 60. It must be the air out here. Because it ain't the hair out here, y'all. It must be the air out here, for real. Mm. If anybody's out there, let's say this. And you're having a hard time processing what's going on, get into yourself. When I say into yourself, not being selfish, but get into yourself, get grounded. Because any one of y'all that's on here, get grounded. Get that strength that's in you, and then come up out of that hole. Because you got to, to survive. Whatever hole that you're in, if it's a small hole, a relationship hole, a financial hole, get grounded. Ten toes down, y'all. And come out of there. Because you can come out of there. Think about the worst thing that you've ever been in in your life. It hasn't been this. So that means you can make it. You can make it. And I'm not fucking preaching to the choir or nothing. But everybody knows what I'm saying is true. If you just say, I'm tired, I'm tired, I can't make it. Think about the worst time in your life. Because everybody got one of those. Maybe two or three of them motherfuckers anyway. And you get to the worst one and say, I'm here today. Why are you here on the planet now? Because you like one of the strongest people, so that's why you're still here. Duh, figure that shit out. What you're here for is up to you to figure out. You know? So live your life. You get sick, get up. Get up. Call friends. Talk to friends. You need me, call me. If I don't answer and I see a missed call, you know I'm coming back to you. And I don't got an iPhone because I can't stand them bitches. So I got an Android, y'all, but in the same money. I got a Samsung 10-something plus. I paid about a good stack for it. So I don't do, you know, the FaceTime or whatever unless it's Facebook if you want to see my face. That's another reason why I did this. So people could see me like I'm okay. Like I don't want... My friends would say, whatever happened to Jackie? You know? Let me tell you something. I did a Spanish, um... What was it? I had them blue, too. How crazy is that? I did a Spanish, um... I was somebody's wife. It was like a, a play in college. It was hilarious. I had on the big earrings, the long wig, and I did the dance, the little mumbo and stuff, and I spoke a little Spanish... It was hilarious. It was fun. Like, things like that, I don't forget. Don't forget the fun things either. You know what I'm saying? Even if it happened so long ago, go back to that. Think about the fun things that you have in your life. Don't get stuck in a situation like this, because this is no time to be stuck on nothing. Not even get gum on the bottom of your shoe. Don't get stuck walking. Don't get stuck talking. Just don't get stuck, man. I want to see all of y'all get through this, man. I really do. Salute. This is good. Mm. Real good. I'm about to turn the fish, so that's why I'm away, y'all. So don't go nowhere.
Don't go nowhere. Helen, I want to say hi to you. I know that you're going to see my video later, but I love you. And I need to thank you for this. I don't know how to use it, but she got me a fryer. It's amazing. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it on my live. I don't know what I'm going to fry, but I'm going to fry something. I'll find something to fry. If y'all got any ideas, look, I'm not eating that fat stuff. I went to the doctor and I lost um, four pounds since last year. I don't know how I did it, but I did. So, I'm trying to eat right and I need to get rid of this here. You know, that, like, if I hold my chin up, then it's gone. But, you know, if I hold my chin down, then it's dead. I don't need that. Not at 60, man. Mm -mm. We got to get rid of that. We working on that. Maybe some neck muscles or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Anybody got any um, solutions? Tell me. Because um, I walk on my treadmill. I don't walk in the neighborhood because I don't want to be a statistic. <laughs> I don't want nobody run my fat ass over and talk about she didn't have on this or she didn't have on that. I don't think so. We not doing that one. So out here is easy. To get hit by a car on the road. You know, if anybody know the country, it's easy. And at night, don't do it. Mm -mm. They'll find your behind in the ditch over here. And it'll take some people before they even find your behind. How about that? Well, how did I get here? Don't ask me. I don't know. I keep saying I don't know. But it's a reason for everything. So, I got here because maybe I belong here. You know. But I still come to New York, y'all. I do a hit and run. I don't sit around and stay there. I come and see my family that's up there. Because I check on them. You know, make sure everything's okay. I get my energy. I get them my energy. And then I come back home. You know. Other than that, I'm just trying to live, really. And do whatever it is that you want in your life. If it was something that you want to do, you ever see the picture with um, Jack Nicholson and um, what's this guy's name? Uh, Jack Nicholson and um, this other actor. And they had the bucket list. Do that. Do that. Have a bucket list. When you start getting older, there's certain desires that you want. Because I have a bucket list and I've been scraping some off. I really have been. And it's amazing, you know, because um, you don't have to be dead or dying to make a bucket list you can make your bucket list while you're alive and just scratch it off you know don't let anything you gotta wear a mask you gotta wear a helmet you gotta wear whatever it is you gotta wear wear it and do what it is that if nobody don't want to go with you go by your goddamn self what the hell is not their bucket list is yours so but if you could get somebody to go with you it's kind of like more fun you know to go with somebody and stuff but if you can't find somebody to go, don't say, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait type shit. No, we ain't got time for that. Nobody noticed. Time is not waiting for nobody. So, when it come down to the bucket list, mm -hmm, mm, get it going on. Get it going on. I got a couple things on my bucket list that I'm doing. And I will share it with you guys, you know. Um, I will share it with you guys. I, I don't know what made me go to... Um, Nickelodeon, maybe my grandkids, but got to tell you the joke. Like, listen, at 50, you know what your heart be like, whether it's good or bad, you know. And I'm not good with, um, like, the cyclones and the high rise. So my, my granddaughter was there. She was five, and I was taking her to have a good time. So everybody got on, and she wanted to get on, but they wouldn't let her get on without an adult. So my ass had to get on. So when I got on... I was terrified because I said, I'm going to get off and I ain't going to move my neck. My neck going to be hurting my back. My my knees was going to be hurting. Like I said, I can't get, I got to make her have fun. So you know what I did? I prepared my body to go in, in the little tube and capsule or whatever. I took my knees and I held them tight against the bar and I took my neck and held the straw. <laughs> so when the thing, and I closed my eyes and I said, boy, I hope this ain't a long ride. And when I was finished, I was good. But if I had my eyes open, I'd have been done. Y'all have been coming to my funeral because I'm not good with that. But that wasn't on a bucket list. But at least, you know, I could put it on my bucket list. It's already done getting on some big 
ride and I mean big go all the way up and come all the way down type stuff I was not ready for that checking on the fish y'all I was checking on the fish I'm checking on the fish I gotta tell y'all I cheated on the fish too because I pre-seasoned it yesterday I always tell y'all that I broke up the him but I didn't break up the her uh, I tell y'all that I always um let me taste this. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty good. Hold on. Let me turn this around. So y'all can see how they sitting. They sitting like I just killed them. Look. I'm a Pisces too. That's the sign of the Pisces. How about that? I mean, actually, I'm on the cusp. I'm a cuss. Per cusp. Cusp. I'm a cusp person. That's why I'm so versatile. In the Pisces order, I'm a dreamer. But in the Aquarian, uh, it's something totally different. So to have the, the attribute of both signs, it kind of like make you like a nut. So if any of y'all think that I'm a nut, I'm a good nut. Okay? I'm maybe like a cashew nut because those are kind of more flavorable. Or almond. <laughs> but I am a nut. And it doesn't mean that I don't know. What I'm doing, it's just that at the time that I'm doing it, whatever part of me that comes out, I don't be dreaming. I mean, I'm a dreamer as far as in love and stuff like that. But when it comes down to seriously putting my foot down and going from point A to point B, I make it happen. I don't care who it is. I walk all over mountains to get where I need to be in hot cold. So I want y'all to try to get some of that vigor in you at this point in time to be prepared and those of you that have kids older or younger or grandkids y'all need to be visual on what's going on today because of their future you know what I'm saying so if I send you something and people don't block me from doing it and I can deliver that message because I have time downtime to look and see stuff and do some research I'm informative so I love you guys um, it's Monday tomorrow's Tuesday and no I'm not big enough T-Mobile Tuesday but those of you that got T-Mobiles get your perks the gas is on the money some of the gifts are on the money I got my scarf last week you know you guys got to be on point with that if you paying your bill and they giving out perks and you can get to them send somebody to get it for you whatever you know, and get your perks, get your money's worth. And if you could downsize any of your bills, if you like up in my age and you want to get that senior citizen break, go for that too. Don't be scared. You know, we've been here on this planet to get that senior citizen. Fuck the coffee and shit because, you know, we could get coffee from anywhere. Unless it's Dunkin' Donuts because I tell you, I like Dunkin' Donuts coffee. I ain't going to lie. And Starbucks. If you can get a perk from Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts, cold coffee is on the money. I love all of y'all. Hashtag. I'm cooking who's looking. I mean, each and every one of y'all, if I didn't see you and I can't say hi without my eyes, I love you and um, I'll be responding to you. So I'll be back. You guys come back. Um, be safe out there because I truly love you. When I say I love you, I don't use that that term lightly. If If I love you, that means I love you. Not going to bed with you, but I love you. Like... If I saw you out there and you needed some help and you call me, I would get in my private jet and parachute down in your area and come and pick your ass up and save you. Here she come to save the day. Hashtag, I'm cooking. Who's looking? Good night, guys. Have a nice week. Be safe. And I'll be back. Gah.